Well, as we progress through the late afternoon and getting into the early evening hours, Grand Rapids still has yet to see any rain since early this morning. There are still some showers in far southeast part of our area, Coldwater, Hillsdale along US 12 and south of I-94 with that. But we're starting to see rain pop up showers move in Muskegon, Nuego, Oceana counties. Some lightning strikes over the lakeshore, but none inland quite yet. Uh, you got to go north of Big Rapids to see any lightning inland close to our area. Now we're still under this marginal risk for severe weather, meaning we could see an isolated strong to severe storm. But overall, these are for now just trending like general thunderstorms as our clearing line was quite narrow within the cloud deck. So we didn't see a ton of opportunity to see these storms develop with more energy. Now there's still a couple hours left until the main line moves through our West Michigan area, and that is with pop up downpours and again some thunder in there, but it's not looking like it's going to be a, an outbreak of a line of uh, severe storms. By midnight, we're already starting to see these wind off to the south and east. We'll see a mix of uh, clearing and cloud cover overnight tonight, but then we'll see full sunshine by the time we get to Wednesday afternoon. Uh, updated models showing that uh, inland areas, especially east of US 131, are going to get some heavier pockets of rain that could lead to isolated areas getting over a half an inch. And with it, Muskegon now getting some moisture on the lens. We're starting to see showers move in. Winds are picking up with the leading edge of these showers as well. And with it, lightning is starting to move in as well. Holland, you just go about 35 miles south. And it's a different story. Sunshine peeking through, broken clouds, a nice view here, uh, but the wind is still uh, pretty choppy or pretty breezy pretty much everywhere you go. Grand Rapids camera showing that pretty well as well. 60 in Grand Rapids, but notice the 50s that are starting to set up as the clouds and the rain move in off to the south and east. It's gotten down to 51 in Holland, 53 in Muskegon, 51 in Three Rivers and Coldwater as well. Temperatures tonight are going to fall back to the mid 30s from Grand Rapids to the north. We're going to get a little closer to freezing everywhere else mid to upper 30s for us as showers wind down early again by midnight. We're done and then it transitions over to partly to mostly cloudy skies. Here's the wind still gusting upwards of 30 now near 40 miles per hour in Muskegon still out of the south southwest. But in the next few hours, this wind is going to shift, especially by about 11 o'clock to midnight once the main line of rain moves on through, sets us up for a northerly wind into our Wednesday. There's the showers starting to fill in again. Leading edge of moisture starting to pick up a little bit more that could impact our instability. Here's a look as we head into Wednesday. The clouds start our Wednesday, but we're going to end it with full sunshine as high pressure sets up overhead. A very nice midweek is setting up outside of some chillier air here across the area, but even into Thursday, we're looking at a lot of sunshine. So just a few showers tonight. We'll watch getting below freezing Wednesday night into Thursday morning, and then the warming trend is on Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, four days in a row of rain chances, as well as mixing in some milder air. And it looks like the 8 to 14 day outlook keeps with that trend. That 62 next Tuesday is seasonal, but it looks like we're going to get even warmer than that as we head in.